Hello. Welcome, welcome. So tonight, um, what we're going to be talking about is we're back to skincare, my favorite subject, my favorite topic of all time. And as I'm preparing the vibes, we've also got a great candle that I'm going to talk about, goes in with all of this. But I wanted to focus on specifically lip care tonight, which I think is underlooked, you know, overseen. And I also wanted to go ahead and talk about a new, I guess we can call this a moisturizer. It's a facial cream, but I've been sort of mixing it in with a moisturizer. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. But been loving this recently. And also, we're still on kind of like the SPF train. You know, it's summertime. We're all sort of looking for those skincare products that will get our skin through the summer. And these have been some of the new ones for me. So... Okay, first, let's get the candle out of the way because it's so great and I literally can't stop smelling it. That's why I put it so close to me. I'm kind of afraid I'm going to like burn my shirt on it, but it's fine. This candle that I have is from this super cute brand called Brooklyn Candle Studio, which I've seen all over Instagram, I feel like throughout the last year or so. And I've always thought their branding is so cute, but... I also feel like it's very hard to buy candles online, right? Because you're like, what is this actually going to smell like when I open it? So I did that part for you, and now you don't have to. <laughs> but essentially, this is their Sweet Fig candle. And at first, when I was like, Sweet Fig in a candle, I thought it might be too much, right? You might think, okay, it might be overpowering fig. What does that smell like? Um, but I'm actually really happy with it. The scent definitely. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I did. I feel like I'm doing a different hairstyle for every single live stream, not on purpose. That's just what ended up happening. <laughs> um, this candle, it has notes of like rosewood fig. It's got amber patchouli. And how do I describe the scent? It doesn't smell fruity. Okay, it's more like, it's more like undertones of fruit, but it just smells like fresh and a little sweet. So if that is something that you like, this candle is, uh, was already on sale from their original price. And it's even more on sale right now uh, during this live stream. So if you're a candle fanatic like me and you literally buy a candle every single week wherever you go, then I would definitely recommend trying this out, especially if you're more into like fruity or a little bit of a sweet scent, it also like fills the room. I'm a candle snob and <laughs> what I hate is a really amazing smelling candle and the scent goes like this far, right? So I have to like put my nose in it to smell it. But this actually, I can put this like on the other side of my living room and I can smell it from over here. Now, right now it is right next to me, but that's just so you can see it. <laughs> So that is, again, the Sweet Fig Candle. This is from Brooklyn Candle Studio. It's super cute. Also, just like the packaging, the aesthetic, I love it. And I think it will have a long burn time. It's also like pretty large, which is great. So that's the first thing I want to talk about before we get into the good stuff, before we get into the skincare. So again, what we're going for tonight, I'm staying on the SPF train because I think it's so important. And I'm also trying to remind myself to do it more. <laughs> um, but we're also going to talk about lip care, which I feel like we don't really think about. We put on a lip gloss and we're like out the door. We're good to go. Right. Um, but I feel like there's so much more to it than that. And I'm, I'm, you know, on my journey. So I'm going to take you with me on that. And then also super good Indie Lee products that I just discovered. I was debating getting this for a long time because I was like, okay, it's a little pricey. Like, should I go for it? Is it going to be worth it? And so far, so good. So we'll talk about it. Um, but first things first, what I want to go into is this. This is a new product for me. It's the French Girl Rose Lip Polish. And I haven't really ever exfoliated my lips that much. I mean, I know everyone used to use like those fresh lip scrubs. Um, and I was sort of, maybe I just never found one that I loved. But I was super interested in this. It's from French Rose Organics. So it is uh, French Girl Organics. So it is organic as well, which I love. 
and it comes in what I thought would be a super small package, but then you open it up and you actually get like a ton of product in here. It's kind of bigger than I thought it would be. It's like an ounce. Um, but for a lip scrub, especially something you don't use every day, I feel like it's super worth it. I'm going to go ahead and like do it because we're here on a live stream and I can do that. Um, so essentially I don't use this every day, but I use it maybe like every three days, something like that, whenever I remember and I, you know, have a moment. Um, but I just take a little bit on like the end of my finger and all you do is essentially rub it in and it smells like, like rose water. It smells honestly so good. So this is me literally exfoliating my lips for you just to show you that this really works. <laughs> and it also has like a lot of oils in it too. So it leaves your lips feeling hydrated. It tastes good. I don't know if I'm supposed to be eating it, but I end up doing that. <laughs> yeah. I literally love it so far. And it actually does make a huge difference. The reason that I'm focusing on lip products too is because in the last couple of weeks, I don't know what is going on with me, but I just feel like, yeah, right now this exfoliant is all that's on my lips. Um, which is kind of crazy. I think you could like, once you get the exfoliating part off, I mean, it looks kind of cute. looks like a gloss, right? Which is very weird. Um, but my lips have been super dry recently and I wasn't sure why. And I wasn't sure like what I was supposed to do about it. I was like, should I be drinking more water? What's going on? And then lip scrub was actually the answer. So as you can see now, I've sort of like scrubbed it in and you can still see some of like the little beads of the lip scrub. So all I do with that is just wipe that part off. And once you get all of those beads off, your lips feel like so smooth. It's just like new lips almost. Um, so that is sort of a demo in case you were wondering what that lip exfoliant is like. But again, I wouldn't use it every day because you obviously don't want to like over exfoliate your lips or like be doing too much. But I would especially recommend it if you haven't been wearing a lot of lip balm that day. If your lips get really dry in the summer or the winter time, like mine apparently do right now. <laughs> and I would definitely recommend this lip scrub. Smells super good. It tastes really good. Again, not sure if we're supposed to be ingesting it, but it happens, right? And also, I feel like you do get a lot of products for this. I mean, especially for $17, you can use this for like months. Um, so I think it's very worth, worth it to get this. Um, again, it is on sale right now. So if you've been looking for a lip exfoliator, like I have, I hadn't really tried one before this, honestly, which is crazy. Cause I'm so into like skincare and everything that has to do with that, but I was super impressed with this. So this is the rose lip polish. I'm pretty sure this is the only, um, the only scent or flavor that they have, but smells very good. So highly recommend this. And after that, since we've just talked about lip exfoliants, what we're going to go into next is what you put on after that, right? The lip balm. And one of the conclusions that I came to when I was like, why are my lips so dry in this period of like two weeks, I was having a crisis. <laughs> I was thinking, I never really put SPF on my lips. And I was like, wait, I know I was talking about SPF in my live last week and how important it is to put like everywhere on your body, essentially. And your lips are one of the most sensitive parts of your skin, parts of your body in general. And so I was like, why am I not putting SPF there? And so obviously did my digging, did my research. Of course, I should be putting SPF on my lips. Why wasn't I doing that before? But I have sort of two products to share for you, uh, for this sort of category. One of them is currently sold out, but I think we'll be back soon, hopefully. And then one of them is an amazing dupe from a similar brand and they will both do the same thing. Um, so the one that I'm going to share with you first is this one that I've got with me. This is the 
Super Goop Play SPF 30 Lip Balm with Mint. <laughs> so if you've watched a couple of my lives or even one of my lives, you probably know that I'm a big Super Goop fan, okay? I, <laughs> I love SPF. I especially love Super Goop for SPF because their face SPF I use as like a makeup primer. I use it every single day all over my face. It's my lifesaver. So I didn't even know that they had this, but this is an SPF lip balm. And that's literally exactly what I was looking for. As you can see, I was like very focused in the last couple of weeks. I was like, I need to exfoliate my lips. I need to put sunscreen on my lips. <laughs> So this is the Play Lip Balm. Right, and I think actually I thought my lips were dry, but they might have been burned. And I was just like so confused. I didn't even know what that was, right? So I just discovered this. <laughs> and now my lips are feeling and looking so great. Um, so essentially, this is obviously just like your typical lip balm. Um, but it has SPF in it, which is what makes it amazing. And it comes with this like little minty, I don't want to say aftertaste because you're not eating it, but it has like a little, a little tingle, a little something, you know, when you put on a mint lip balm, like a Burt's Bees or something like that. And you can like feel that mintiness. It just feels fresh. Right. And what I love about this lip balm is that it's super hydrating and it almost kind of looks like a gloss. So we've just gone through the whole lip thing, <laughs> did my exfoliating. Um, and then once I put this on, it literally is like, I could walk out the door. I could leave right now. I don't even need to put on like a lip color. Um, and this doesn't have any color in it, but I feel like it just does what I need it to do. So I've just been throwing this in my purse, like, going to do errands, going to the beach, like literally wherever I go, this has been it. And also it's so affordable. Um, I will say that like their face sunscreens and things like that are maybe a little bit more on the expensive side, like 30 ish. Um, I get them anyway, <laughs> because they're the best. However, this one is like $8. I feel like I can use this for super long time. And I know that I use it constantly. So I'm going to get another one soon. Um, but just to let you know, if you're interested, it is currently on sale during this live stream. So if you're like me, your lips get burned <laughs> and you didn't know what that was and you need to get a lip SPF, this is the one for you. Um, also, it's so cute. I've always just loved their branding, their packaging, their whole thing. Um, and this is SPF 30. So these two products together have saved my lips. <laughs> if you had seen the situation that was going on a couple of weeks ago, it wasn't cute, you guys. It really wasn't. And now that I know what's going on, <laughs> I fixed it with these. Um, so again, this is the French Girl Rose Lip Polish. And this one is the Super Goop Lip Balm. So now I'm gonna show you the dupe that I found because this one, of course, is currently sold out because it's so great, right? But this one is from Jack Black and it is literally exactly the same thing that I'm talking about here. Even comes in like the same tube, right? It has, I believe the same level of SPF and it's, uh, I think it also has a minty situation. So if this is something you're interested in and you're like, I need it now today, that is the dupe that you should go for. And I've used Jack Black lip balms and products before, can say that they're great. So Super Goop, Jack Black, this is the Intense Therapy Lip Balm, the one that I just shared with y'all. And again, this is the Play Lip Balm in mint. So that's the lip duo. We already talked about my amazing candle. I keep having to stop myself from like sticking my nose in it. Oh, it's great. It's really great. <laughs> um, let's get to last but not least, I think maybe the most interesting for me product out of the bunch tonight, just because it was such a toss up for me. I was like, am I going to like this? Am I going to like this? So Indie Lee 
is a great brand I've talked about on lives before, and I have always been interested in sort of like getting to know their products. So over the past few months, I have started trying everything out, seeing, you know, what I like, what I don't. The thing that I fell in love with at first was their brightening cleanser. Oh my God. I'll talk about it again in another live because I love it so much but it just smells like fruity, fresh. It's like a gel. It helps get rid of like hyperpigmentation and dark spots, which I was like in love with. And so now I love Indie Lee. <laughs> and this is one that I've been looking at for a while. Right, I heard so much about Indie Lee even before I started like getting any of the products myself. And the packaging is just so cute. I started seeing it when I would like go to stores and um, they just have kind of everything. And I also liked that they're, um, you know, a clean brand. I was looking for that too. And I feel like all of their ingredients, at least the ones that I've come across, I always look at ingredient lists. I'm like a nerd <laughs> for that. Um, everything has been things that I'm not scared to put on my face, which is key for me. So this you probably know why I was debating it because it's on the spendy side, right? And especially for um, like a moisturizer or like a facial cream, I'm hesitant, right? Because first of all, if I fall in love with it, I have to buy it again. <laughs> and then second of all, I'm never sure like, is it gonna be worth my coin, right? And I think with skincare, I mean, things can be all across the board. You can get something super affordable that works like a miracle, or you can get something super expensive that doesn't do, you know, $200 worth of things to your skin. So it's definitely a toss up. And, you know, I took the risk. I said, I'm going to go for it. This is the Super Fruit Facial Cream. And the reason I went for this one was because they have a couple of other similar creams that are on like the same price point. And the other one I was debating between was, I believe it's called the, I wrote it down because I was like, I know I'm going to forget this. The daily skin nutrition. That's what it is. So this and the daily skin nutrition are kind of similar, but the daily skin nutrition is more about like um, has a bunch of oils, healthy oils for your skin and things like that. And this one is all about repairing and protecting. Um, so if you need to repair from like sun damage or if you just want to protect your skin from sun damage. And then also um, it helps with dry skin. So if you wanted like hydration, this is sort of what you would want to go for. And after reading more about it, I also found out that the daily skin nutrition the other one is maybe not as great for skin that has like a lot of oils already in it because it does have many oils mixed in so this is the one i went for after doing you know my dissertation on the indie lee moisturizers and i'm super happy with it so far so i'll go ahead and show you the texture show you everything um she is you know She's my bougie moisturizer and I love her for that. So this is the texture that you get. It's, it's pretty smooth. It's a, a pretty lightweight moisturizer. Um, I literally just used it like 10 minutes ago. Also, I feel like my skin has been getting so much better recently. Like I'm not wearing foundation right now and my skin looks like this. Um, and that is partially thanks to this moisturizer. So that is sort of how it blends in and it's super smooth, super silky and smells amazing. I mean, I don't know who is in charge of the scents of these Indie Lee products, but literally everything I have bought from them so far, I could smell it maybe for the rest of my life, maybe for the rest of my life. So this I love. They say on this container that you can like use it on its own or you can layer it over like your favorite serum. But what I've been doing is actually layering it with a different moisturizer. I don't know, call me crazy. But so far, that's what I've been loving. I have like this AHA, BHA moisturizer that's pretty lightweight that I like. But I always feel like it's like 
missing something. It's missing a little something. And so I put that on just as sort of like a base. And then I add this and it is stunning. We're glowing by the morning. And I've gotten to a point where like, I feel super comfortable just like leaving my house without anything on my face. And I don't know if that's crazy. Maybe that's just me, but it took me a while to get there, <laughs> to get to a point where I was like happy with my skin and happy with the way I was taking care of my skin and the way that it was looking. And I think this is having a lot to do with it. So, so far I've been using this for what, like maybe three weeks, maybe a month now. So I've, I've been trying it out for a while and I use it every day, usually just at nighttime. So I'll use like my daytime moisturizer in the morning and then I'll go in with this and another moisturizer at night. And I've been feeling it. I feel like it is worth the money, which I'm so happy about. Obviously I like flipped a coin and I was like, who knows what we're going to get. And I was really pleased with this. So yes, it is on the pricier side, but if you are willing to splurge just a little bit on your skin and you're really interested in helping with things like repair, sun damage, and also hydration, then this Indie Lee Superfruit Facial Cream is killer. It's really killer. So I know that it's bougie, however, it is on sale right now. So if you're like, if you're like me and you have to really consider something before you buy it, this is the time where you can get it and feel like it's on sale and that's okay. You know? Um, so it is typically like over a hundred, but right now it's less than 90. So kind of amazing. Again, this is the super fruit facial cream. The two that I was debating between were this one and the Daily Nutrition. I would say if you're someone who doesn't have an oily skin type, if you're maybe like a dry skin type or maybe just like a normal skin type, you could probably go for that, um, that Daily Skin Nutrition because it has a lot of healthy oils in it. But for me, this one has been the girl and I'm going to repurchase it. And I don't say that about a lot of things, especially things where I'm like, should I be spending money on this? I don't know. Is it worth it? But I'm going to buy it again. And I already know that. And I haven't even made it halfway through the bottle. So that's saying something. Again, everything that we've talked about tonight is on sale during this live. So if you've ever been curious about the Indy Lee products, about any of the lip care that I mentioned, the candle, if you're just feeling like a candle girl tonight, all of those things are on sale and they'll also be on sale up until 30 minutes after the live ends. So right after you sign off of here and you're like that fig candle, she was talking about it. I didn't buy it. Dang it. Right. Then you can go get it which is great. Um, so again, the first thing I talked about tonight, which feels like, you know, years ago now, is this candle from Brooklyn Candle Studios. It is super cute and I've always loved like their aesthetic. I've been seeing their brand on Instagram in like the past year or so. This is the Sweet Fig Candle. And how I describe the scent, I'm terrible at doing this, <laughs> is it doesn't smell super fruity, but it's like fresh and sweet. It, the scent fills the room, so it is like on the stronger side maybe. But if you're looking for notes, if you're a notes girl, rosewood, fig, and then the base notes are amber and patchouli. I don't know if I'm smelling much amber patchouli right now, but whatever I'm smelling, I like it. <laughs> and that candle was already on sale, so it's even more on sale, which is amazing. Um, it also, I think, has a long burn time, and it's a pretty you know, it's, I think, bigger than your standard candle. Um, so if you're looking for a candle that you can, you know, get a lot of bang out of your buck for, that's the one. And then we went into lip care. Um, we talked about how my lips have been mysteriously dry for the past two weeks or so. And I was stressed. I was really stressed about it because that doesn't happen to me often. And I was like, what am I supposed to do to fix this? I really, I mean, I was Googling, I was getting myself into like a black hole. I was like, what is going on? 
what I found out is that probably I was getting burned on my lips because I never wear SPF on my lips. I just wear it on my face, body, literally everywhere else. And I was neglecting the most sensitive skin on my face. So the way that I've fixed this <laughs> is by using first this lip exfoliant. This is from French Girl Organics, uh, a new brand that I haven't really heard a lot about, but an organic brand, which is great. And this is the Rose Lip Polish. So it's basically just like a little exfoliant, like a lip scrub. And it smells super, super good, kind of like rose water. And once you rub it in, it sort of melts into your lips. It has a lot of oils in it that are super hydrating. And I just use this maybe once every three days if my lips are feeling a little dry, um, a little, you know, they could use some help. <laughs> And this has helped a ton. So, yeah, I I think I've actually already pinned that one, but it should be in the collection. So that one is the one that I mentioned earlier, the French Girl Organics Lip Polish. Yes, it should be there. Um, but again, lip polish, if you're looking for just a lip exfoliant, this has worked super well for me. Also, you get a lot of product in this. So I don't know if you can see how big this is, but pretty large. Um, so I feel like you can use this for quite a long time, especially because it's not something you use every day. And then our last product that we mentioned is this Super Goop SPF. And this one, unfortunately, is sold out. I'm sure it'll be back soon. So I've linked a complete dupe from Jack Black as well in the collection so that you can shop this regardless. But essentially, I was just looking for a super great, like, affordable uh, lip balm that had SPF in it. And I love Supergoop already. That's where I get most of my SPF products. So that's where I went first. But this has SPF 30, has a little minty aftertaste. And it also, I'm wearing it right now, it kind of acts as like a gloss. So it's sort of a two for one. So I've just been throwing this in my bag kind of wherever I go lately. And it's been super, super helpful. And my lips are back to their normal, hydrated, happy state. I'm so happy to say. <laughs> um, so that combo has been a lifesaver for me, especially in the past couple weeks. Thank you. Yes, they, and I think this has like been the key. I think out of anything, I, I think the lip exfoliating helps, but this is, I feel like where I've really seen the difference. And the fact that it's so affordable, I can buy like five of these and put them in every purse that I own. That's great. That's probably what I'm gonna do. So that is all we have for tonight. We talked some lip care, a candle. We talked a little bit of Indie Lee, classic. Um, if you have any questions or anything like that, let me know. But otherwise, next live stream will be next Wednesday, same time, same place. So if you're interested in hearing more, seeing more from me, definitely come back then, 9.30 p.m. CST. And again, all of these products are going to be on sale up to half an hour after the live stream. So if you're interested in grabbing anything a little later on, that is totally fine. But highly recommend everything I talked about tonight. And I will see y'all next week.